right now. Hey you guys, so I'm sitting here editing this video, realizing that I did not film an intro. I think I was running really late. I did the whole morning routine, everything like that, but I didn't get a chance to film and tell you where we're going. And this is a great freaking vlog, you guys. Um, I was able to film going out in El Salvador. We're going out with the entire crew, except for one person. It's an all guy crew and then me. <laughs> and it was a blast there's some really good footage coming up here so i just want to give you a proper introduction and let you know where we were before i showed up and that i was also platinum blonde i'm about to be platinum blonde um but it's been a little bit since i did it i forgot how quickly platinum blonde you know grows out but um you guys are gonna be a little shocked i have very white hair um and i love it okay if you're on instagram you've already seen it um, but before we get into that, I wanted to talk about a, our sponsor for today's video, which is Basius Bowie headphones. And you guys, this is a great holiday gift or a gift for yourself headphones under $30. This has become my favorite travel essential. It is a necessity. No joke. So these are the Bowie MA10 hybrid ANC. This is what the packaging looks like. You open it up and you have this handsome man wearing the headphones they're very discreet like you can barely tell they're in your ear they come with the charging cord and multiple of the like ear sizes so that you can make them kind of custom to fit your ear it has the quick start guide it has the instructions all that but you don't really need it because they are bluetooth so you know you turn them on with this little button here and then it like activates so when you go into your settings in your phone and you go to bluetooth it'll pop up right there i think it says bowie ma10 something of that nature and you just hit that button and boom you're connected so this is the headphone case i want to show to you in comparison to a pack of gum because they are a little bit larger but that's fine because these are amazing i was supposed to actually do this collab um about a month or two ago and it got delayed so i've been using these religiously for about a month or two and i actually had a second pair that i got and i gave them to a friend and they're like where are these from these are better than my airpods i stopped using my airpods and honestly i have too honest to god so you open them up and they're a magnetic closure and it's like a very solid magnetic closure and then it has this honeycomb design on the bottom and it makes it easier for like if you have jeans on it has more traction i feel like it holds it better sorry i had to pause it because my air conditioning kicked on and it's really loud so like i was saying it has this honeycomb design on the bottom and i feel like it like holds traction to if it's in your jeans or on your purse or whatever and then you open it up and they're spiffy aren't they so it indicates left and right and um, let me put them in for you. So this is what they look like in. I love that they're discreet and that they're just nothing like hanging down down here. I want to show you guys the proper way to put the headphones in because in the video I put them in the wrong way. So you take the earbud and they go in like this. And this is so that you can get like the best sound quality so that they stay put the best and just like the overall best experience. And these do not fall out of my ears. Oh my God, hallelujah. Because every other pair of earbuds falls out of my ears. You guys, I can wear these while I'm working out, going for walks, grocery shopping in my ears. I don't constantly have to push them into my ear. They just stay kaput. Um, so I'm very thankful that I was able to find these. Um, and the great part about them is they have the option if you want to have noise cancellation or not. So if you do want it to have noise cancellation, all you have to do is press down once for one second. And then you'll hear this like, vroom. It's like a vibration. And then if you want to turn it off, you just push it for one second too. If you're, let's say you're watching a movie and you want to pause it, you just double tap. And then to play, you double tap as well. Um, it does a really great job at switching in between if you're watching a movie on your iPad and then you get a call to your iPhone, you can switch in between there. For FaceTiming or phone calls, the sound is so good for the other person to hear you. Like I said, my friend has a pair too now and 
like the sound quality is just so much better listening to music i swear it's like you're at a concert like it just has this high level quality of volume like i don't even know how to explain it they're just so good and they're under 30 dollars when i just checked on amazon they were 26 dollars i think it fluctuates like between four dollars five dollars so that price point is great they are waterproof so like i said working out if you're laying by the pool anything like that if you're in the shower and want to listen to music i guess you could put them <laughs> if you want um but these things have everything so like I said, it would make a great gift for the holidays. Let's say you have like a secret Santa at work or something. Black, sleek. I feel like these just look so high end and the quality is so high end. It's not like you have to have one or the other. Like either you pay a little bit of money and they're cheap and crappy or you pay a lot and you get the best quality. No, you get like the best of both worlds with these. Um, the last thing I want to point out about these is the charging time and the battery life. The charging time does equate to listening to, to watching 75 movies and listening to 3000 songs. Um, and then it has it where if you plug them in for 10 minutes, it gives you a two hour boost. But yeah, the full charge lasts 140 hours. Um, 10 minute boost gives you two hours. So that is plenty of time, you guys, the charging. Um, and capability of the battery life is super good. I can't recommend them enough. I will stop talking about them now. Like I just set them down in the honeycomb like gripped on the table so they don't go flying or whatever. And when I tell you that earbuds are the number one lost thing on an airplane every flight, religiously, every flight. Someone comes to the back and whether they fell asleep or they left their AirPod case, I don't know, on their lap, they always come to the plane in the back and they're like, oh, I dropped an AirPod or an earbud. And it's like, that's gone. That is gone. The likelihood of you finding that is so small and people just blow through money. So um, get some where the case is a great closure. Not super expensive. God forbid anything happens, but I can't talk about it enough. I will leave the links, all the details in the description box if you guys are interested. And again, thank you so much to Basius for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the vlog. Never do what? What'd you say earlier? You were worried for no reason. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Just kidding. We just got to El Salvador and oh my gosh, you guys, it is really nice and tropical. The view isn't like anything superb. It's gonna be really fun. So the crew is great. Everyone's really junior. It's an all guy crew. I'm the most senior flight attendant and yeah, everyone's just super nice, good energy. And we are going to go downstairs in an hour and a half. And I think we're gonna go downtown. Apparently there's this place with a slide. I don't know. I'm going to work out really quick and then I'll check in with you guys. All right, you guys. I worked out. I touched up my makeup because I was like sweating. It's really freaking hot here. And I sprayed some of this. This is what I use on the plane because it's a little bit cheaper. And I'm going to head down there. I was thinking I like took off all my jewelry and everything about doing a video about traveling international and being safe so if you guys are interested let me know because i have some good tips and tricks and yeah let's see what we're about to do i don't know if we're gonna leave the hotel stay at the hotel it was like you get immersed in that this whole new world Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Wow. Maybe like a little roller coaster thing. Oh, that's so cool. 
Pepsi. If you get a meow wolf from the real on real. Yeah. And there's a second one down there too. I guarantee there is. There is. Feels much worse. You're not gonna be able to put this. <laughs> what does that mean? That's her. We don't. We know who that is. <laughs> you were supposed to go last. How did you go first? Holy. All right, you guys, I just got back to my hotel room. We had such a good night. Oh my gosh, we went to this place, had dinner. It was about an hour drive from where we were staying, but it was a great time. Um, and then we went down this like slide, like amusement park. Oh my gosh, like I hope you guys enjoyed those clips, but we had such a good time. The crew is so great. And it is 9 p.m. here, but there's a time change. I believe it's a two hour time change, so it's 11 at home. So I'm gonna shower, go to bed, cause our van is at 4.40 in the morning. So I'll see you guys bright and early and we have one flight to Dallas. Hey you guys, good morning. It is around 4 a.m. And I'm just curling my hair. But we have to remember at home it's 6 a.m. So it doesn't feel like 4 a.m. So today, we are going one flight to Dallas and I have a long Dallas layover and my friend Mallory is going to be there. She's flying in from Oklahoma and yeah, we're going to hang out with her again. Um, I'm really excited because it's a Saturday. I get in at 10 a.m. And it's just gonna be a really good time. It's gotten like nice and cold and fall and crisp there. And that is the kind of weather I want, especially after yesterday. Um, it was so stinking hot here. And just like being able to wear jeans and a jean jacket and I brought the, my platform Uggs. I think it'll be a really nice day. But the following day we have three legs and so it's gonna look like this we'll go we depart dallas at 7 11 a.m and then we go to miami once we land in miami we go to san juan and then once we land in san juan we'll go back to miami and then we're done by like 6 p.m so it's a longer day and yeah i'm just excited to be there but we had such a good time last night. I'm so glad that we ended up going out. Honestly, one of the crew members was like, once we got in the car and we saw it was an hour van ride, he was like, I really thought he was gonna ask them to turn around. He just kept talking about like, I can't believe I signed up for this. I wish I didn't come. And then once we got there, um, it was so much fun and so worth the ride. And he was like, yeah, it's worth the ride. And um, it's like when you're a flight attendant and you're like, or anyone, you're given these opportunities, like take them, don't complain. Like our captain paid for the Uber ride and like took care of it. And like, when's the next time you're gonna be in this foreign place with this opportunity just take it and everything is gonna be okay and if it's not then you'll figure it out from there but like just don't people like complain a lot is basically what i'm saying try your best not to complain go with the flow because you never know where the flow is gonna take you okay i think that's enough of my like whatever kind of talk i just did but i'm just getting like so annoyed with it yesterday and then when we were doing the slides, he was like wanting to, he was like, I don't know if I want to do this, is it not safe? Like, just shut up, he's going down the slide. So, I don't know what my point of that was, but don't be so closed off to opportunities, I guess. 
because I mean that's just not a great way to live. I'm gonna finish curling my hair and I'm gonna watch Love is Blind and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Do I have to unhook everything? No. I just hold on to my Um, oh, you guys are right by where the planes go, huh? Yeah. That's cool. So we just got to Mal's car. She's checking her tire pressure because it says it's low. Is it okay? Okay, my front tires might be a little low. No one slashed the tires. So we're heading to our apartment and then I think we're gonna go somewhere to watch the game and play it by ear. Okay, so we just left the truck yard and we had some of these like yummy cider drinks and Mal's team lost. And so we're headed to a different place. It's like a rooftop place. I think I've been here before with Casey Casty and she's another flight attendant YouTuber and the food was really good. Our team lost, now we're gonna go eat our feelings. So we're gonna go to HG Supply Co. and see if that's a better vibe. So we just got back to Mallory's place and we had a really nice time. The game did not go as planned, but we had good food, good drinks, and now we're back to her place and we're gonna make dinner or we're gonna order in food. And if you guys have not tried these chips, they're so good. All right, so we're gonna sit outside. It's actually a really gorgeous night here. Around 70 degrees, so I get to wear like fall attire. Just a nice little patio, so we're gonna have the door open. I'm not gonna show you exactly outside, but it's really, really nice. She actually changed her trip, so she has the same sign in time as I do. And we're gonna go to the airport together, and it'll be like we're buddy vitting again. Good morning, you guys. Oh, why do I only have four minutes left on your crowd? Okay, good morning. It is 5.40 a.m. Mallory and I, good morning, Mallory. Just got to the employee lot here in Dallas and it is go home day for me. I, what do I do? I go to San Juan, no, I don't. I go to Miami and then I do a San Juan turn and I'm done by like 6 p.m. and Mallory's starting a two day trip. Mallory, what do you do? I go to Kansas City. I do a Kansas City turn and then I go to Hartford, Connecticut. And then I just have one leg home tomorrow and I'm home early. Woot woot. All right, we're really tired, so we're gonna go to work and we're gonna get Starbucks because the Starbucks by your place wasn't open till 6 a.m. That's criminal. It is criminal. All right, see you guys in a little bit.